We are continuing with our Alma Thomas inspired patterns, part two. Using watercolor, you're going to paint over the paper in crayon or oil pastel. The watercolor will only stick to your blank paper. You can choose whatever colors you like. I chose opposite colors from the one I drew in, which was opposite because I figured they would help to make my colored lines stick out um, or stand out a little bit more um, with a, a brighter pop. So since I have pinks and purples and reds, yellows and greens are going to be my opposite color. And I had a little bit of an issue with my camera, so um, sorry you missed the first part of me painting that in. But um, as a reminder, with watercolor, you will dip your brush in the water and then tickle the surface of the watercolor. You don't want to dig it in. You don't want to scrub at the paint. You want it to go on real lightly. Um, and as you can see with me using the brush, I'm not pushing very hard with the brush either. And I'm allowing those puddles of water to kind of settle into the paper. And I push those puddles around with the brush. Um, so I'm not digging hard. If you used oil pastel and you dig too hard, um, or you push too hard on the paper, then you will end up smearing some of the oil pastel. So as you can see, when I paint, I'm painting over the entire surface and wherever that oil pastel or crayon is, it does not stick to the color. It only sticks to the white paper. So, um, let's see, I'll get through this pretty quick, um, but take your time. I also played around with bleeding the colors together. So where colors were wet, if I went up to it with another wet color, they bleed together and they blend and it's almost like magic how they blend very softly together. Um, so your goal is to color in all of the white space. If you don't have watercolor, just use marker or crayon or whatever you have to get in those in-between spaces. So no white paper should be left by the end of this painting. And uh, I think our work would make Alma Thomas proud with our little painterly strokes and the dashed marks. If you finish this early and you want to paint on top of the patterns we made um, uh, the other day where you got to choose different shapes and whatnot, you can do that. Um, if you did it in crayon or oil pastel, but if you did it in marker, you can't paint over it because it'll make the marker bleed. So I'm just adding a few other touch-ups here. And I am pretty much done. So once you're finished, have your adult upload it to Artsonia.